So at number 5 of the best upsets of the NCAA championships, we got Richie Figueroa taking out Braden Davis in the quarterfinals. And this match looked like most of Richie Figueroa's matches, it was a low scoring one, nothing really except for escape and then Richie Figueroa getting a reversal and a riding time point to take the lead. And then Braden Davis would try to sprint and get a last second takedown, but Figueroa would not get called for stalling and Braden Davis was visibly frustrated, but nothing you can do and Figueroa would get the upset. Then we have the match between NCAA champions and Mekhi Lewis and Carter Starachi, the 9 seed. Starachi would do a great job of keeping his shoulder underneath Mekhi's leg as Lewis would try to sit the corner to defend but Starachi would just keep great position and get the takedown. From there, he would ride out Lewis for the rest of the match and Lewis would try to get a last second score but Starachi would hang on. Getting the win despite being injured, which is probably an ACL tear. So really good work here from Starat. Then we got Daniel Cardenas of Stanford taking out the three seed and freshman phenom Mar Shapiro. And Shapiro would actually wrestle a really good match. I mean, he would get a last second takedown in the first period, but then in the second, he would end up getting slammed on his head and go into concussion protocol. And after that point, I mean, it didn't look like he was the same. I was really surprised they let him wrestle. But he would get to a leg late in the third while trying to hold on to his lead. But Cardenas would be able to defend and score on the reattack. Just a great match from Cardenas. And really unfortunate that Shapiro probably got a concussion. But I'm expecting him to bounce back next year. And at number two, we got the returning national finalists getting cradled in the final seconds of the third period before the match was about to go into overtime. Lachlan McNeil just locks up a nasty near side cradle and then rolls through and gets the near fall and takedown on Real Woods. Unfortunate way for Real Woods to get knocked out of the championship, but great wrestling from Lachlan McNeil to secure his All-American spot. Then we got what I think is the upset of the tournament, Younger Basita getting taken out by Lucas Davison, the 10th seed. The Grim Reaper getting taken out by a 10th seed to a guy that he said he was going to be. It was crazy. And the craziest part is that Younger Basita started off real good. I mean, he got an amazing takedown on Lucas Davison, but then he would just get hit for as long as the third period as it looked like he would gas out. And then eventually Davison would get to his leg finish a beautiful single leg and win the match in the craziest upset of the weekend in my opinion but yeah that's my video for today if you guys enjoyed make sure to leave a like comment down below what was the best upset and if i missed any and like and subscribe for more rest of content like this peace <laughs>